how can we use rounding to help us with our subtraction? Rounding can help us estimate the answer to a subtraction equation. Let's do an example. Let's say we've got 152 and we want to take away 56. Let's do that. We're going to do our equal signs. Now, I don't want to work that out. I want to know roughly what my answer is going to be. So I'm going to round my numbers to the nearest 10. I'm going to round them to the nearest 10. So 152 rounded to the nearest 10 is 150. And then 56 rounded to the nearest 10 is 60. So this is my new one that I'm going to work out. I'm actually going to find it easier to do it vertically like this. I mean, horizontally like this. Um, if I've got this, I'm going to do a quick partition and I'm going to split my 60 into a 50 and a 10. Find your easiest numbers. And then I'm going to take away my 50 first and then I'm going to take away my 10. So 150 take away 50 gives me 100. So I've taken away my 50. Now I need to take away my 10 because I was taking away 60 altogether. So now I'm going to do 100 take away 10, which gives me 90. So I know that this is going to roughly be around 90. Let's work it out and see what it actually was. So I'm going to do 2, take away 6, which I can't do. So I need 10 from here and I need to put it over there. 12, take away 6, gives me 6. 4, take away 5, I can't do. So it's 4 tens, take away 5 tens. So I need to borrow from the hundreds and give him there. So now I've got 14 tens take away five tens. I'm going to split my five in my head into a four and a one. I'm going to do 14 tens, take away the four tens gives me 10, take away one more gives me the nine. So my answer is 96, which is pretty near my estimation of 90. So let's do another one together. Get your maths books out. Pause the video, get your maths books out, and we'll do this one all together. So our title is Using Rounding to Estimate to Estimate. There we go. Using Rounding to Estimate. So the subtraction we're going to do is 438 and we want to take away 27. So we're going to round them to estimate what our answer is going to be and I'm going to round them to the nearest 10. So 438 rounded to the nearest 10. So what 10 is nearest to 438? If I wanted to very quickly do this, I'd have 430 here, I'd have 440 here, 435 in the middle, and it would be here, so it would round to 440. And then 27 would round to 30. Now let's do this one. 440 take away 30. Oh, that's a nice and easy one. We've got nothing in the ten, nothing in the ones. We've got four tens take away three tens which will leave me one ten and then my hundreds aren't touched. So that's going to be nearly 410. That's going to be my estimate. So let's see if we are correct. I'm now going to do this vertically. 438 take away 27. So I do my ones first. Eight take away seven leaves me one. 3 take away 2 leaves me 1 
and four hundredths, take away no hundredths. So the actual answer is 411, which is very similar to our estimate of 410.